Welcome back, everybody. Well, he's a singer-songwriter who also saves animals. Basically, he's the perfect human in my book. He's also <laughs> headlining his Thinking We're in Love tour right now. Welcome, Tyler Rich. Woo! Yes. We're so happy you're here. Thanks for having me. Yes, absolutely. Well, Tyler, your love of music began around a Christmas tree, and now you're a major artist. Tell us about this current tour. The uh, tour's been amazing. This is my second headlining tour ever. Uh, you know, we all were playing crazy catch up after COVID and whatnot. And so last year was a lot of fun. Uh, and this year's been a lot more fun. It's been awesome. <laughs> we've, we've been everywhere. Uh, this is the last weekend. So we're doing, oh. uh, yeah, Green Bay, Milwaukee, and Grand Rapids to close up the, uh, an incredible year. It's, Burr, it's going to be cold. Yeah. I know. How I know. many places have you been? We have some pictures showing you. I mean, you look like you have a blast up there. And the crowd does too. Yeah, we really do. You know, I, my best friends are on stage with me. They've been uh, playing with me for years, and, you know, and so. We love our whole crew. We love all of our fans, and just it's just uh, it's an incredible thing. We've been 100 shows this year, I think. Wow! This tour is a 30, I think, since September. -ish. Oh my! I How know. do you keep up yeah. the energy to yeah. keep going to all these new cities and bring the energy on stage at <laughs> yeah, each and every exactly. one of them? The endorphins hit. You know, it's uh, <laughs> yeah. it's like any other job. I'm lucky to say it is a job, but uh, I'm always tired. Sometimes I'm tired five minutes before the show, but then yeah, as soon as I'm in the back and a mic up and whatever, and I'm, I, I hear the crowd. It's just, it's crazy. It's it. I, I black out and I wake up and then yeah, it's over. That's so, yeah. Okay, I do have to ask quickly before we get to all your animal work. Is touring life as amazing as it seems? When you watch movies, you know they look <laughs> yeah. like they're going crazy. They're having a party yeah. every night. This is so funny you just said that. <laughs> so touring life is amazing because I've got a traveling soul. So I love new cultures, new foods, new people, new cities, um, and. <laughs> But we literally are making a TikTok this weekend that we had talked about filming last week, but we ran out of time on the road of because <laughs> we're going to film a crazy facade party. Uh -huh. um, what people think it looks like. Yeah, too. Yeah. But like four seconds and then it's going to flip to literally what we do and we just sit in pajamas <laughs> yes. um, and play this game called Duck Game where it <laughs> looks like regular Nintendo and we just kill each other's ducks literally hours, <laughs> hours and hours a day. <laughs> Wild so, and yeah. crazy. What you think it is versus reality. Sex, yeah. friends, yeah. rock and roll, yeah. not so much. No, yeah, okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. So you have a huge heart for animals, and I've actually run into you before at some of the, yeah. uh, the shelters nearby. Um, we, talk about rich rescues. You and your wife do this, which is amazing. Yeah, so I would for sure own um, all of the dogs in the world. <laughs> if I could, I'd probably be divorced, even as much as Sabina does love them. Uh, but since I can't adopt them all because I'm never home, I just wanted to do something special on the road, you know, and yeah. raise awareness to fans in specific cities that we're going to about animals that need homes mm -hmm. in those places, or even just raise awareness about the shelter that is there that they might not know even exists. Um, there's so many incredible people and places in every city that fans have never even heard of. Right. And if, even if they're not in the, you know, the situation currently to be able to bring a dog or a cat in or sometimes squirrel, I mean, they have everything in these places, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we at least, uh, you know, some, some of them foster them, and uh, I don't know. It's cool. It's yeah. rewarding. It's amazing. It's one of my favorite things I, I get to do. Talk yeah. about your own rescues, Yukon and Sweet Sweet Abby. So Abby was a real rescue. So, oh, and I say oh, that oh, in the okay, sense of okay. like when she was five months old, I rescued her oh. um, from a, a bad situation oh. that the husband didn't know I was going to rescue her, but the wife set it up. Oh. Um, and so I physically rescued her. Um, she's been my dog now for 16 and a half years, almost 17. Which is crazy. Yeah, husky. Oh, look that's, at her. Uh, that's her sweet 16th birthday. <laughs> yeah. The fact that you threw her birthday parties I just made a tiara complete. Oh my god. Yeah, gosh. but we just got Yukon a year ago this week from a Green Bay visit of Rich Rescue. So we were playing Green Bay oh. um, right before COVID hit and kept in touch with that shelter. And they hit me up and they said, hey, we have these little puppies that kind of look like Abby. Are you interested? And Abby's getting old, so I was like, well, you know, UConn might be able to take some of Abby's traits with him. Aww. And she just screams at him all day like Huskies talk, you know, and so yes. he runs in circles away from her at all times because she's constantly like, whoa, 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 <laughs> swinging at him. And it's adorable. It's, it's really cute. I don't know if Abby thinks it's as adorable. Yeah. Right. <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank so you sweet. so Thank much. You. You're amazing. Again, your music is wonderful, and oh, it's so you. fun. And everybody around here loves it. When we heard you were coming on, everybody was excited. Yeah. And Thank your you. heart of gold is just up there too. So thank You're you. Sweet. Thank, thank you. Very much. you. <laughs> well, make sure to check out more of Tyler's work online. Listen to him. He's great. Visit TylerRich.com.